What was 9-11 and why is it so important in U.S. history? Here's everything you need to know about what unfolded on that tragic day in 2001. Twenty-three years ago, on Tuesday, September 11, 2001, at 8.46 a.m., American Airlines Flight 11 crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City. But it wasn't just New York City that was attacked on 9-11. It also happened in Washington, D.C., and in a small town of Shanksville, Pennsylvania. When the first plane hit the North Tower of the World Trade Center, everybody thought at first that it was an accident. But when the second plane hit the South Tower of the World Trade Center, everybody began to realize that it was not an accident. It was at that moment when everybody realized we were under attack and America would never be the same. And just like in Washington, D.C. and Shanksville, Pennsylvania, everybody in New York City stood and watched as the two twin towers of the World Trade Center in New York City continued to burn. And the whole devastation that left the whole city of New York in shock Everybody in New York and across America was shocked and saddened upon seeing the two twin towers of the World Trade Center city start to collapse to the ground. And then suddenly, everybody in the streets of New York stood and watched as the South Tower of the World Trade Center had suddenly collapsed, leaving nothing but smoke, dust, and parts of lower Manhattan in ruins. Everybody in the streets of New York began to rant as smoke and dust began to come down from the falling tower. Everybody was left shocked, wondering if the North Tower would collapse too. But no one knew. But what everyone did know was that right when the South Tower had collapsed, the New York City skyline would never be the same. Before everyone knew it, the building that once had an iconic observation deck was all gone. And then, suddenly, before everyone knew it, the North Tower of the World Trade Center would collapse too, leaving a whole devastation on the city. As New Yorkers, tourists, and other onlookers watched in horror as the North Tower of the World Trade Center would collapse to the ground, leaving lower Manhattan covered in smoke and dust, and following the collapse of the North Tower, Lower Manhattan and parts of New York City were left in ruins. And I just couldn't imagine what was going through the minds of the people of New York and, and across America during that time period. And you know, a time full of just nothing but tragedy, sorrow, and just devastation that was left all over the city, and across the nation, and around the globe, following these attacks because 9-11 really caused left the devastation on not only just America but the whole world. I'm still in, and I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock when I think about it. 9-11 has really changed our way of living. You know what 9-11 taught us is that is that even through our unforeseen circumstances, we Americans um, are the ones that um, you know this that, that we are the pe we the people are the ones that hold this country together. We um, we, we always try to find a way to, you know, to unite with, with one another, regardless of our political parties, our agendas, or, you know, just our, our, you know, with our, with regardless of our skin color, our race, religion. The only thing that matters is that we're human and that we're Americans and that we, we show love for one another, that we're there for one another and we care for one another, even when times get hard. And 9-11 um, was really a hard day for everybody and it's just, it was hard. It was really hard for all of us. For a lot of us, you know, just it's a, lot, a lot of us may have had someone that died on our level, whether it, whether it be a friend, a family member, a loved one, or perhaps a brave first responder who sacrificed their own life. But for what I do know is that we've never forgotten those that were lost on Tuesday, September 11, 2001. Today we'll never forget. We always remember. And before everyone knew it, both towers of the World Trade Center were all gone. As some fires continued to burn, cleanup efforts were underway, as well as the search for any survivors who were trapped in the rubble at Ground Zero, following the collapse. Just hours following the collapse of both towers of the World Trade Center, as well as the day after, Americans knew that despite the attacks, 
there was still hope that spirits would be lifted for the future and how the American people can bounce back after a very devastating tragic event. One in which took so many innocent lives. A day where not only America would change forever, but the whole world would change forever. Looking at the New York City skyline, Americans knew that it was so sad and devastating to see the New York City skyline without the Twin Towers. The next day, on Wednesday, September 12, 2001, the whole city of New York was silent, as many New Yorkers were in disbelief that the beautiful skyline of New York City was completely different since the Twin Towers were no longer there. Nobody has ever forgotten all the innocent lives as well as all of the brave firemen and policemen that sacrificed their own lives on 9-11 trying to save others. Also, don't forget that Monday, September 10th and Wednesday, September 12th of 2001 were among two of the days before and after 9-11 where everybody came together as one. And it didn't really matter if you were white, Hispanic, and it didn't really matter who you were, where you came from. All that matters was that New York, and as well as all across America, we all came together right after 9-11, following these tragic attacks and, and um, letting each other know that we were there for one another and that we all had a feeling that in the back of our minds, we all knew that um, even though we're still grieving right now, life must go on. Brighter days are ahead. The best is yet to come. A lot of us remember what we were doing, how we came, how we came to support and help one another get these feelings and get these emotions off our minds following these evil, despicable acts of terrorism on our country. And it didn't really matter where you came from. All that matters was that New York and all across America, we all came together right after 9-11, letting each other know that we were there for one another and that life must go on and that America will always be at her best, even at the toughest times. And it takes all of us as a generation of a society of people to come together in a show of unity to show the world that even after tragic events, we will remain strong and be there for one another because that's what real true Americans do. And um, but we also knew that we were there for each other like brothers and sisters. We were like family when we all came together after 9-11 in 2001. And we all knew that regardless of what happens in this country, we gotta stand together and stay together because it helps unite this nation and brings joy and peace and heal of comfort to the world and to those who are still grieving and that continue to grieve over you know, the loss of their friends or loved ones. And uh, yeah, so I mean, I can only say that it was a very tough day for our country and for our people. But when I look at it this way, I realize that America isn't just a country. America is the people. We, the people, are the Americans. And we are the face of this country in that we should always find a way to create a show of unity, regardless of what's happening in this country. Because we as a society are the ones that define how we unite together as a country. And uh, it was just kind of difficult and hard for a lot of us to believe that it took a tragic event to bring all of us together right after these horrific attacks. 23 years ago on September 11th, 2001. In comparing to how life was back then versus how it's going now, even though we're not as united as we were back in 2001, we still have many opportunities as of now to prove and show the world how united we can be as a nation and how it takes all of us, it takes so much courage to step up and be there for one another when it really matters the most. And I can only say from a first-hand perspective that, um, that a lot of hearts were broken on the day of Tuesday, September 11th. It started off as a great, beautiful Tuesday morning until things turned ugly at 8.46 a.m., which we thought was an accident. But when the second plane hit the South Tower, that's when America and people in New York realized that it was not an accident, that we were under attack. And for all I know is that right after 9-11, we all knew that it was time to get revenge and take down whoever was responsible for these tragic events that unfolded in 2001. And 10 years later, in 2011, the U.S. did just that. And last importantly, my heart breaks and goes to all those that lost somebody on September 11th. But just know that no day shall ever erase you from the memory of time. And to all those who had lost someone on September 11th, my heart breaks 
for you. My heart goes out to you. I stand with you. We all stand with you. And your loss will always be remembered. Your loss is never forgotten. And as the years go by, we come together as a nation. So don't take your life for granted because you never know how long you'll live. Lots of people on 9-11 never got to see another day. A lot of the brave firemen and policemen risking their own lives trying to save others trapped in the World Trade Center without even knowing if they were ever coming back. Unfortunately, not a lot of people and firemen and policemen made it home. Not all of them made it out alive. So enjoy your life, people, and just, you know, just, just know that we'll never forget 9-11 and we'll never forget all the innocent lives that were taken on that horrific, tragic day. And uh, most importantly, it was just hard to imagine the reactions of people who were watching it live on TV within the whole United States and around the world. Since March 11, 2002, the tribute in light has lit up the New York City skyline on every anniversary of 9-11 to indicate the location of where the Twin Towers once stood. Since March 11, 2002, the tribute in light would light the New York City skyline every night from dusk to dawn. And for what started as a temporary thing became permanent and an annual thing on every anniversary of September 11, 2001. Every anniversary of 9-11. And we will all never forget what had happened on that Tuesday morning of September 11, 2001. A day that changed our lives forever. Make no mistake, let's not forget that at 8.46 a.m., our country changed forever. And when the second plane hit the South Tower, we knew that 9-11 was not an accident. Following the devastating attacks on Tuesday, September 11, 2001, Airport security policies have changed and become more strict, and there has not been any gun at an airport ever since. May we never forget the lives that were taken on Tuesday, September 11, 2001 at the World Trade Center in New York City, the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and at a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. In a somber show of unity, we as Americans let the whole world know that even at the hardest of times, America will always be at her best and we will always remain strong as we continue to unite as one. In memory of those that we have lost on September 11, 2001, a day we'll never forget that changed our lives forever. Thank you and God bless America. No day shall erase you from the memory of time to those that we lost during the tragic events that unfolded on Tuesday, September 11, 2001. A heartwarming tribute. Rest in peace to all the innocent lives taken on 9-11.